Hi, beautiful people. Welcome to Teach Miss Campbell. I'm Miss Campbell. I'm here to teach you all about reading, writing, math, and social studies. In this channel, we will learn about many different standards that are kindergarten through fifth grade. And I hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully you learn many different strategies that you can review and relearn or teach your friends, teach your child, teach your students, teach your friends. This is a channel for parents, guardians, teachers, students, for everyone just learning to reteach themselves and learn a new standard or just to review. So today, in today's lesson, we are going to work on how to subtract three digit numbers with a zero in the tens place by drawing place value chips on the place value chart. Now a place value chip is just a little tiny circle. Think of it like a cookie, a yummy, yummy cookie, but the cookie has a 100 right in the middle. Now, if you can see that, I can, make, I can use a different color, the color black. So it has a 100. And think that the other cookie has a 10. And then there's another cookie that has a 1. That is all place value chips are. They represent the hundreds place. You have 100 for the hundreds place value. You have a 10 for the tens place value. And then you have a 1 for the ones place value. Got it? Good. We're going to start using a three-digit number, and I'm going to think of a three-digit number in my head, and then we're going to start taking away or subtraction. Now, when I do this, it's very important that you create a place value chart. Now, many of you may know what a place value chart is, or you may not, but a place value chart is just a chart. It looks like a ticked, it looks like a little mini T, like a H tic-tac-toe type, <laughs> but it's super cool. And some students are visual learners, so still this strategy may be easy. There are many different strategies to subtract three-digit numbers. This is one of my strategies. If you are interested in learning a different strategy, like the vertical way, which is super easy, please check out my other videos. This is for place value chips, and this will help a lot of students who are visual learners and who love to move things so they can visually see it and understand why the subtraction problem is that answer. And so when we start, we draw in the hundreds. Okay, so that's for the hundreds. And then you would also draw for the tens. And then you would go over here to the ones place. Now I'm going to create my number in my head. The number is going to be 302 minus, I'm going to write the number here so you all can see it, 302 minus 200 and let's say 36. Now, do we write numbers for the place value chips? No. Remember, place value chips are hundreds, tens and ones, little cookies. So they look like 100. They look like a 10 and they look like a one, okay? So hundreds, tens, and ones. So we have 300, right? So first off, we know that since we have 300, we're going to have to make 300 place value chips, right? So you're gonna draw 100 and then you're going to draw another 100. You don't have to say 200, you can just write 100, 100, and then another 100 because 300s make 300s, right? 100, 200, 300. So just keep the 100s inside. Now that you have that, you're going to the tens place. But, but, but there is no tens. So skip it. Move on to the ones place. In the ones place, I have you here, you have two ones. So all you have to do is draw one and a one, exactly like that. And we done? No, let's subtract. We're gonna take away 236. Always, 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 no matter what, start in the ones place. Please repeat after me. Start in the ones place. Start in the ones place. Let me hear it louder. Start in the ones place. Yes, it's so important. You need to start in the ones place. 
or if you don't start in the one space, your answer is completely wrong and then it's no sense in solving. You have to start in the one space to make sure you have the correct answer. So we start at two minus six. Mm. You have two fingers, right? You cannot take away six. So what you have to do now is you have to go to the tens place and it's a zero. You can't. So now you're going to knock on hundreds door and you're going to ask for a 10. Now, what we're going to do is, since this is a hundred, we're going to take this hundreds and we're going to bring it over here. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky for some people because you're thinking, I should just write 100, right? No, don't write 100 because we're taking the hundred and putting it into the tens place. So now the hundred becomes a 10 and that means it becomes 10 tens. Let me show you why it becomes 10 tens. So we know that if we go 10, one 10 is 10, another 10, that's 20, another 10, that's 30, another 10, that's 40, another 10, that's 50, another 10, that's 60, another 10, that's 70, another 10, that's 80, another 10, that's 90, and then another 10, that's 100. So when you take that 100, put it into the tens place, 10 tens equals 10 equals 100, right? And so now this is 200 left. So if you had 300 and you took away that 100, you only have two. That's it. One, 200. That's it. And now I have 10 tens and now I can borrow a 10 and I can give it to the ones. Because remember, remember, we need to make the two bigger, 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 bigger than the six. So in order to make the two bigger than the six, we have to borrow, unbundle that, unbundle this little tens and bring it over to the ones place. So I'm gonna knock and say, excuse me, can I borrow 10? Yes, you may. Thank you. <laughs> and I will bring this 10 over here. So I can now just write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Now I just counted by twos, but if you are struggling counting by twos, remember you can count by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's 12. So that means 12 is a bigger number than six. And that means nine, nine tens, 90 is a bigger number than three tens, 30. And two hundreds, 200, take away two, 200. This is good, this is better. This looks so much good, so much easier to solve now because the top row is bigger than the bottom row. So let's begin to solve it, okay? So we are going to start by taking away six because we always, always start in the ones place. Always start in the ones place. Look at this. Everything is good. Let's take away six. Let's say one, two, three, right? We're good. Four, five, six. Now I'm going to circle this so I understand that this is what I have left. And that means I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six left. So I can write six at the bottom or I can write at the top. Let's write at the bottom so that we can see everything. Yes? And now we go to the tens place, right? In the tens place, remember, we are taking the top. It's now a 90. And we're taking away how many? Three, right? So we already, we're already done with this. We need to take away this now, okay? 
So we're going to take away 3, and I'm going to take away 10, 20, 30. That's 3 tens, that's 30. 10, 20, 30. Okay, that's where I'm getting that from. It's in the tens place. Remember, hundreds, tens, and ones. We take away three, we circle how much we have left, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And so that's a six. And then we go to the hundreds place. And we take away a two. One, two, and that's zero. So our answer is 66. And that's how you do place value chips. That's how you would solve a three-digit subtraction problem with a zero in the tens place. And that's how you unbundle and you borrow tens to make sure that the top number is bigger so you can take away the smaller numbers at the bottom and get your answer. Let's do another one. If you enjoyed that video and you liked it, make sure you press the like button. We're going to do another problem that I would love for you to also work with me. If you haven't been working with me, try it. Bring out a pencil and a paper. If you have been working with me, awesome. Let's go to do another activity because this is super simple and I really want you all to understand how to do this. So let's get a paper and pencil. If you don't have one, get out your paper and pencil. As I erase this, we're gonna go into the next problem. If you want a head start on doing the next problem, let me write it here so that you can get started. The first problem is going to be 704 minus 325, okay? Show me how you would solve that using the place value chips. So that's 469, and that's our answer. And there you go. You've just done a wonderful job, and I'm going to leave you with one problem to help you finish this off. If you understand that, I am so happy. If you're still a little struggling, please, please review, review, review. Replay the video, ask questions, comment below. Let me know how you like the video. Let me know how I can become a better teacher. And also, please comment. Let me know what topics you would like to learn in reading and writing and math and in social studies. Any kindergarten through fifth grade common core standards, I'm here to help you. And I'm here to make sure that you're learning and you're understanding, okay? So please subscribe. If you want more videos, please like this video. Let me know how I did. And here is your problem that I will show you so you can leave and feel so energized and so good about yourself that you know how to solve three-digit subtraction problems. It is 900, three minus 274. And that's the problem I'll leave you with. Please go ahead and solve and tell me how you did. If you understood, if you did well, you got it correct, thumbs up, give me a like and comment below. I love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful week and stay blessed. Bye.